uh, kwenye mimea na kuna mineral nutrients ambazo zinahitajika kwa kiwango kidogo kwenye plant body. Those ambazo zinahitajika kwa kiwango kikubwa zinaitwa macro nutrients. And those needed in small amount we can call it micro nutrients. Macro nutrients ni kama NPK, you can say potassium, nitrogen and NPK, potassium, nitrogen and phosphorus. Hizo ndo uh, tunazita ni macro nutrients. Hata kwenye mbolea nyingi ambazo tunanunua kwa ajili ya mimea ni NPK. Also zile uh, uh, micro nutrients you can see kuna zinc, kuna manganese, kuna iron. Hizo zinahitajika kwa kiwango kikubwa. Kwa hiyo ni muhimu mmea kuweza kupata nutrients ili kuweza ku survive well. Otherwise growth yake itakuwa poor developed. Another external factor we can see is gases such as carbon dioxide and oxygen. Uh, on this factor you can see carbon dioxide ina umuhimu gani kwenye plants na oxygen ina umuhimu gani kwenye plant. Tukianza na carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide inakuwa kama raw material also ya photosynthesis. Pia oxygen inaenda kutumika kwa ajili ya aerobic respiration kwenye mimea. And this they can facilitate Uh, growth and development kwenye plant kama kukiwa kuna kiwango kidogo cha carbon dioxide it means kwamba the plant it is going to die ama growth yake itakuwa poor since carbon dioxide it is important raw material for growth and development in photosynthesis process uh, also these uh, factors can be summarized in this figure below we can see this is our plant and it require all of these factors for its survival including water carbon dioxide sunlight oxygen as well as mineral nutrients ambazo zinapatikana katika soil and now we are over on the those external factors that affect growth and development in plant we are going now to look on the internal factors internal factors that affect the growth and development of plant including growth hormones as well as genetic factors and we are going to look on growth hormones how they affect the uh, growth and development then we will look on genetic factors starting with plant growth hormones these are chemical substances that regulate plant growth and development also hormones help plants to respond to the stimulus such as sunlight water and the nutrients from the environment Tunapozungumzia plant hormones ni zile hormones ambazo zina initiate growth katika mimea. Na hizi zinaenda kusaidia mimea ku respond well kwenye stimulus kama uh, light, kama water sources, ama gravity kwa ajili ya kupata minerals na kadhalika. And now we are going to look on one uh, hormone after the another starting with the auxin hormone. Auxin hormone these are highly concentrated in growing parts of the plant such as at the tips of the shoots and the roots also it is stimulated the growth and development of a plant i also we have to note that auxin promotes apical dominance a process that prevents too many lateral buds and the branches from growing in the side of the stem good students tunapozungumzia auxin hormone ni one of the hormones ambazo zinapatikana kwenye mimea ku initiate growth and this auxin hormone they are found at the tips of the shoot and the root they are main function in to provide elongation ya shoot tip na root tip also wonderful enough tunaona kwamba auxin hormone ina kitu ambacho kinaitwa uh, auxin dominance hicho kinasaidia katika ku prevent development ya lateral buds na branches kwa sababu The main function ama purpose ya auxin hormone ni kusaidia either elongation toward upward ama downward kwenye soil. Also another hormone is gibberellin. Uh, this hormone causes similar effects as auxin in plants. They are present in young shoots and roots and seeds. Also they stimulate cell division and elongation of the stem between the nodes. Tunaangalia mm, Hormone nyingine ambayo ni gibberellin. Kazi yake ni the same same as auxin. But the difference is that gibberellic hormone they are found at the uh, middle of the internodes and their main function is to promote elongation and cell division at the 
uh, in between the internodes. Kwa hiyo kazi yake kubwa inaenda kusababisha elongation katika internodes na kusababisha plant growth and development. So absence of gibberellic hormone itapelekea uh, stunted growth. Also another hormone is known as cytokinins uh, in which this hormone stimulates cell division and are often included in the sterile media used for growing plants from tissue culture. Here cytokinins tunaona kwamba ni ile hormone ambayo inaweza kuinitiate growth. Tukisema sterile ni kusaidia kitu kiwe reproductive. Kwa hiyo inatumika na watu wanaotumia tissue cultures kuweza ku develop mimea ili kuweza kuikuza mimea yao haraka haraka au wengine they use to induce it in their plants ili ziweze kuzalisha haraka mfano mzuri tunaweza tukachukua tukachukulia <coughs> maepo yanayozalishwa <coughs> sorry tunachukulia mfano apples zinazozalishwa huko kusini they uh, production inakuwa ni very fast kwa sababu they induce uh, this cytokinins hormone ili kuweza kusaidia ile growth ikamilike kwa muda mfupi na production itokee kwa muda mfupi also they are produced in the root and transported upward the stem through the xylem cytokinins also delay leaf aging and death tunapokuja kuangalia kwenye cytokinin tunagundua kwamba ina prevent mea kuweza kuzeeka haraka na kufa that is the good importance of cytokinins also we are going to look on another hormone uh, in plant which is ethylene uh, ethylene these hormones exist exist in gaseous form also it regulates the growth by the following ways ethylene can uh, regulate the growth by inducing ripening of fruits and senescence of plants tunapozungumzia this uh, ethylene hormone ni hormone ambayo inaenda ku pengine tunaita ni growth retarding hormone kivipi inaenda kusaidia mfano kwenye root ripening tunda limeshakuwa limeshakamilika bado kuiva kinachosaidia ile matunda kuiva ni hii hapa inaitwa ethylene hormone ambayo inapatikana kwenye uh, mimea also uh, ina ethylene hormone ina cause plant leaves to drop and plant increase Ethylene uh, production in response to stress. A good student, I hope you get a good insight on this hormone, uh, especially to kiangalia ethylene. We can understand that ni hormone ambayo inadili na uivaji wa matunda inaenda kusababisha senescence kwa mimea kukiwa kuna stress condition mfano kukiwa kuna drought yenyewe inasababisha senescence na pia dropping of the leaves. Unakuta mea unadondosha miti kipindi cha kiangazi kiangazi ni stressi na due to the presence of ethylene hormone majani yananguka Okay Also the, uh, we have to note that an increase in ethylene in leaf tissue in the autumn is part of the reason why trees fall off their leaves during this period We already explained on this concept The final hormone is that which is called abscisic acid. Abscisic acid is the hormone which is important in seed development and maturation. It induces seed dormancy by preventing seed germination. Tunaona kwamba hii uh, abscisic acid inapatikana katika acid na ina induce seed dominance na ina prevent germination. Kwa hiyo hizi hapa a uh, hormone mbili ethylene na abscisic acid somehow kuna namna zinasaidia mmea kuweza ku stay uh, stunt kwenye kipindi ambacho ni cha stress ama tunaita stress condition also it causes the abscission of leaves fruits and flowers and induce the closing of stomata good student tunaenda kuona kwamba uh, those hormones ziko almost five but these two zinasaidia ku keep the plant safe during the uh, stress or unfavorable condition and now we are over on the internal factor of uh, plant in those plant hormones and now we are going to look on the genetic factors we can see uh, plant growth involves changing 
seed C into seedlings. Other changes occurring during growth include an increase in height, with C development of branching patterns, flowers, fruits, and seeds. Tunapozungumzia genetic factor kama internal factor kwa ajili ya ku, either kuenhance growth na development. Tunaangalia zile factors ambazo zinaweza zika differentiate mmea mmoja na mwingine. The way ambavyo uh, hating ama increase in weed seed itakapotokea kwenye mmea X sio the same same utakapotokea kwenye mmea Y. Hii inatofautiana na ile tunasema kwamba genes za mmea ambao umezalisha a certain species. And here we can see that all of these changes are coded in the genetic material of the plant which is found in the nucleus of the cell. And here tunaona kwamba zile genes za mmea mmoja zinakuwa coded kwenye mmea ambao unakuwa unazaliwa ili kuweza kuenhance zile sifa ziendelee kubaki kwenye mmea ambao umezaliwa. And this is the reason why most of the farmers wana chagua certain kinds of seeds ili waweze kupata mimea ya aina fulani ama mimea ambayo ni bora zaidi hiyo ni kwa sababu ya genetic factor after finishing that now tunaenda kuangalia kwenye animals starting with external factors affecting growth and development in animals like in plants growth and development in animals also affected by external factors uh, these are such as first we have temperature nutrition availability of oxygen as well as mutagen and the risky behavior and now also uh, other genetic characteristics such as weed seed development of branching pattern flowers fruits and seeds uh, can affect the growth of the plant as this both characteristics see they vary from one plant to another due to genetic factors all of these changes are coded in the genetic material of the plant which is found in the nucleus of the cell so as we see here we are talking about genetic factors and uh, most of the uh, plant characteristics or animal characteristics see they differ from one species to another and uh, they are encoded in the genes of their uh, DNA. Now we are going to look on the external factors affecting growth and development in animals. Like in plant growth and development in animals are also affected by external factors. These factors include uh, temperature, nutrition, availability of oxygen gas, mutagens, and risky behavior. And now we are going to look on the one factor after the another, uh, starting with this temperature. Tunawenda kuangalia zile external factors zinazo affect growth kwa wanyama, tunangalia factor mbali mbali. Kama vile temperature, tutangalia nutrition, tutangalia availability ya oxygen gas kwa wanyama ina affectije a uh, plant growth na nyingine nyingi tukianza na temperature as a factor which affect uh, growth in animal we can say that uh, ili organism au uh, aweze ku develop well growth yake na development yake ikae vizuri lazima organism huyo akue katika optimal temperature au tunasema ni temperature ya ni jotoridi la kati au tunasema ni moderate temperature otherwise temperature likizidi sana katika mazingira ama likipungua sana lita affect growth na development ya organisms for instance tuchukulie mfano wa organisms kama turtles lizards swale mayai yao ili kuweza kuanguliwa yanahitaji optimal temperature ili those eggs ziwe hd in two young ones lakini in the in case of high temperature they fail to hatch also you can see in the side of a frog uh, that they depend on optimum temperature for their breeding ili waweze kufanya breeding si eh, kwenye kuzaliana lazima temperature iwe ya hali ya kati lakini temperature ikiwa kubwa sana ina affect their breeding processes
this is all about the temperature and now we are going to look on the nutrition and how nutrition affect growth and development in animals tunabozungumzia nutrition tunamaanisha lishe animals wanahitaji lishe kwa ajili ya ukuaji wao na maendeleo mazuri ya afya for instance we can see ili tadpole aweze kutani into a frog or a toad there must be enough nutrient supply and food supply uh, that will be consumed by, by those tadpoles ili ziweze ku develop na ku grow into a tadpole a, a frog or a toad also in case of human those young ones they need uh, lots of new nutrients ili waweze ku develop into the adult stage and also as we can see uh, protein is, is among of the nutrients which are very very important to the young babies of humans otherwise kama mtu akikosa that nutrient ana pata stunted growth ama anakuwa na hali ya dwarfism that we can see kwamba uh, nutrients ni muhimu kwa ajili ya kusupport growth na possibly iweze ku affect and growth and development of animals. Our okay, from that we can see the availability of oxygen gas. My dear students of form 4, tunaenda kuangalia kwamba oxygen gas ina muhimu gani katika uh, miili ya wanyama. Tukishajua the importance of oxygen gas now tunakuwa tuna uwezo wa kuelezea how oxygen gas in affect growth. We can see oxygen gas uh, is among of the most important raw material ambayo inatumika kwenye respiration process which in turn liberate energy in our bodies. Kwa hiyo the uh, the presence of oxygen is very crucial important kwa sababu itaenda kusaidia respiration process ku take place ambayo ni aerobic respiration. And thus kukiwa kuna inefficient supply of oxygen huyo organism atakuwa weakly developed since atakosa enough energy kwa ajili ya kuendelea ku survive also we can see uh, another factor is mutagens and risky behavior tukizungumzia mutagens zina ni zile uh, chemicals ama materials ambazo zinaweza zika result into mutation lakini risky behavior ni behavior zote zile ambazo zinaenda kusababisha afya idhorote Tukianza na mutagens tutaangalia for instance exposure kwenye chemicals exposure to uh, those x-rays gamma rays hizo zote ni mutagens ambazo zinaenda kusababisha uh, kudhoofisha afya mwili mfano exposure to mutagens like those uh, radiations inapelekea uh, zile living cells kuwa killed na zikiwa killed what next inaenda kusababisha afya ya mwili kudhoofu mfano tukiangalia on the side of risky behaviors tunaenda kugundua kwamba risky behaviors such as alcoholism uh, zile pale drunkenness kunywa ma, ma, mapombe sana hizo zote zinaenda kusababisha afya ya mwili kudhoofu kwa sababu uh, drinking alcohol inaenda kusababisha excessive alcohol inaenda kusababisha miili inakuwa unhealth pia risky behaviors such as unprotected sexual intercourse hizo zote zinaweza zikapelekea maradhi ambayo yatadhoofisha afya na kuifanya isiwe imara that is all about factors affecting growth in plant and animals and now good students we are uh, ending up our, our session and i welcome you to pass through this good task on distinguishing between growth and development also the reasons why a pruned single stem deep plant develops many lateral buds and branches and finally you have to explain three external factors affecting the rate of growth in the plant is hope you understand well our session and I welcome you to keep uh, your eyes on following this good media our education tz 
for you to broaden up your understand because you will meet with different topics of different subjects which will simplify your learning process please don't don't forget to uh, subscribe as well as to comment on the comment section on what do you need for improvement and where uh, did you, you not understand welcome again to our media for learning thank you